Hey guys, just getting around to uh, some projects this winter. Um, been uh, meaning to get to. I've got a bucket full of salted sockeye salmon that we got out of Bristol Bay back in July. Um, we don't have the freezer space to keep it for the summer up there, so we fillet it out and uh, cure it in the salt. Uh, it keeps really well that way. I've had this bucket down in the basement about 60 degrees down there for six months now, and uh, it'll keep for years that way. So um, anyway, we're going to make some pickled salmon here in the next couple days out of this stuff and uh, you need to <clears throat> rehydrate it and get the salt out of it to make it usable again right now it's really firm it's just packed solid with that salt that's what cures it and it takes about a half a dozen six hour cold water baths to uh, get that salt out and, and get it back uh, to where it needs to be so I'm going to use some of this for putting on the smoker um, make some great smoked salmon out of it and the other half I'm going to pickle it which uh, this is quite a little treat too so anyway I'll show you what it looks like here in the bucket so you want to keep it covered with the salt when you salt it like that and let's see you pull these fillets out and it's just layered a layer of fish a layer of salt But it's a great way to keep your fish. I mean, that's how they kept it for a thousand years before they had refrigeration, um, long voyages at sea. And uh, works really well and takes a little time to rehydrate it, get the water back in, the salt out of it, but it comes out to a really good finished product. So we'll get these washed up and get them soaked out and, and we'll, uh, we'll go on to step two. I'll show you how to pickle and smoke. 